Mr. Pro. I'm doing it. Welcome viewers, my name is Obino Anthony. Today we are going to look on issue that concerns the crisis in Nigeria, especially on the mass return of the Igbo people from the north, the Biafran people to be precise. With me here on the studio are two gentlemen who are going to look on to this issue. Starting from my left, I would like him to introduce himself. I will find him Monday. Thank you very much. And also to my right. I'm Amadiba Seyloba. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, for coming. I would like us to look into the issue, the thread of the letter, of the quick notice letter that was given to the Igbo people to leave the northern Nigeria on or before 1st of October. Mazi Baselova. What do you have to say regarding this? Um, I will advise the people of Biafra to vacate the north and then come back with their properties, especially their movable properties, so that when Biafra comes, because the northern Nigeria, they know too well that Biafra is coming. So, and they are using a lay strategy in order to keep Biafrans in the north, so that at the end of the day, after October 1st, 2017, they can now seize those properties belonging to the people of Biafra, especially Igbo speaking Biafrans. So, right now, but, as it but is. Based on uh, some, after the letter, uh, there are some certain meetings that have been going on mm -hmm. or that have held, uh, giving assurance to the Igbo people that not, they should not go back, that uh, nothing will happen to them. Yes, before 1966, the same thing happened. Before the massacre of Biafrans in 1966, the certain happened. The northern leaders told the Igbos not to leave their land, that nothing would happen to them, that they would protect the Igbos. Our people listened to their leaders. At the end of the day, over 40,000 Biafrans were slaughtered in the northern part of Nigeria. They have used the same strategy come this time. This time around, they are using the same strategy. What are they doing? They have issued a quick notice for Igbos to leave the northern part of Nigeria. Hmm? So, and some of them are having meetings with some leaders, and they are saying that they're going to hear nothing will happen to Igbos. No, I, I, I just want to come in. After this meeting, there are assurance from the eastern governors that the Igbos should realize that nothing should happen to them. Let me go back to uh, compared to. What happened in 1940s and 50s and 60s? Let me go back to 1966. In the year 1966, before the massacre of Igbos, um, the northern part of Nigeria, their leaders assured Igbos that nothing would happen to them, that they should remain in the north. The eastern um, governor, as of then, that is Chukwemeko Juku, the Biafran leader, he assured Igbos since there is a consensus that they should go back to the north, that nothing will happen to them. When the Igbos went back to the north, thousands upon thousands of Igbos were killed. Now, the same consensus, they had the same consensus again this time around, you know. Some leaders from Biafra land and the northern leaders have assured the Biafrans that nothing will happen to them in the north. And now you can see um, a, a kind of song going on uh, um, all the places in the north. And this song is, is against the evils. That is to say that they have something against the evils. And there has never been any time these people, that is our white youth conservative forum, have come and made a declaration that nothing will happen to evils in the north, that we will protect the evils in the north. They stand on their initial threat. No, no, there was a, a letter or a release I heard that said that those who believe in Biafra agitation 
should do, but those who committed one international state, I had it from the uh, Netherlands uh, recently. This is not a declaration. Our White Youth Consultative Forum made a declaration that was June 6, 2017. They made a declaration that egos must quit the North. They have never come back to make a declaration that egos should remain in the North. Are you getting me? So now, looking at it, you understand that sometimes some of them will just come and make a comment, say that egos should remain in the North, nothing will happen to them. Some of them will come and say, Igbo should leave our land. That means they want to use the strategy to keep the Igbos in the northern part of Nigeria so that they will not be able to seize their properties. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I come to you, um, Mazi, if I may. Based on this declaration now uh, that the Igbos should leave northern Nigeria before October, First, on or before October 1st. Um, do you think that Arewa youth are serious over this uh, declaration? These are just youth, as they say. They are very, very serious. Why did I say they are very, very serious? A group of people came out before the nation and uh, threatened a section of the country which they believe must not separate. Because uh, when you look at it, uh, you wonder. You believe that uh, their friends should not go. The same person who believed that their friends should not go came up to say their friends, Igbo should go. So, looking at it, you discover that, like, just like my colleague was saying, this is a game. But why you should know that they are serious is this. What has government done? since then. Do they have the power to issue such threats? No. Have the government done anything? No. Instead, even recently, I think uh, two, or two or three days ago, the government is protecting them, protesting on the street for the re-arrest of the indigenous, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. So, but government somewhere told us in the past that they don't know the youth. But people were shown on the television, shown on the media, making the pronouncement. So, for them to have that courage to say that they are serious, but one thing is very, very important here to note, and that is they are not alone. The Arabian youth are not alone. Their elders sent them. So whatever they are saying, whether uh, you, those who believe in Jafra should, stay, uh, should go, I align with my colleague. They are playing game. Now, another thing I want to start I want to ask you this uh, uh, question, Mazin Nadi. This declaration, is it a youth issue or do you think it indeed the government of the Ariwas are involved. Uh, the point is that the Asa Plani is known for one thing. Tricks. They are known for one thing. Tricks and the kill. So the trick, the public, and the nursing is to kill. So, like I said, they are not alone. They are with their people. Because they are the Inspector General, they are the Army Head, the Air Force Head, the Navy Head, the Custom Head, the Immigration Head, the, every, everything they are in charge. They are totally in charge of the security system of the country from beginning till the end. So for a, for a people who are in charge of the entire security of a nation to come up in disguise, using their youth to send a message across, that shows the level of seriousness. If they not, if the government want to look for ROI youth, and if they doubt that what I'm saying is not true, let them look for them, get them arrested. Let us see 
if they are not sinning. So now, are you, are you saying that the evils should return life? Of course, our people should not play with that uh, game. Our people should really not. Because it has happened before and it is going to happen again. They have been killed before and they are going to be killed again. Just like uh, my colleague said, they killed in 1966. From 1967, they killed. And not only that, in so many cases, so many cases, our people have had the same uh, violent situation in the north that made them to come back. Even uh, in 2000 and uh, uh, in 2009, no, 2001, around 2001, similar issue occurred. And a lot of our people were killed. The GUO Lazarus bus conveyed the dead bodies back to the east. And uh, that incident led to many of our people leaving the north. But what is annoying is that at the end of the day, you will see the same northern people calling back the same people they are killing to come back when they have seen the impact of their offense and uh, they will go and uh, liaise with uh, some of the criminals we have in the east who call themselves who masquerade themselves as leaders they will go and liaise with them to convince people to go back and at the end of the day our people will be killed again so what i'm saying is that our people must not this time around must not listen to anybody who who who, who call themselves an elder for that elder will never protect you. You will be killed again. So our people have to return back from Everybody the north. Everybody have to leave the north. Let me tell you, oh, if our okay. people leave the north today, their fraud will come tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, come to you, uh, Mazuba. Uh, based on this uh, uh, later and uh, the fear and the threat over it, uh, it's quite obvious that something is going to happen. And it's quite obvious that Nigeria cannot be stable anymore. The Igbos has a lot of properties in the north, and we know that this is the reason why most of them don't want to leave the north. What are you going to say about returning back home and leaving? Um, thank you very much. It's very important to remind our people that the audio clip that was released or leaked, that was audio between um, a northern governor and uh, the Yoruba governor, that leaked when a uh, northern governor was saying that they will deprive the people of Biafra, they are right. They will deprive the people of Biafra, they will marginalize the people of Biafra. That is Buhari's administration who will marginalize the people of Biafra. After that, that they will chase Igbos away and seize their properties. Are you aware of that? Video? And I'm telling you, after four years, at least laws we are liberal, but in the South West Kule, after four years, Ebos can never be use, useful, uh, relevant again in the southeast. Wait and see. We can, in fact, the plan is the plan of APC is that they are going to make alliance of northwest economic development. The west has the ocean. Can you hear me? Yes. The north has agricultural produce. Yes. So what they are going to do? They are, the government is going to develop all the agricultural and mineral resources in the north. And then they will put primary industries here and then go yes. and export, the, finally finish them in Lagos or Southwest and export them and bring back the money and share it between the two regions. Let them bring their oil. This is the plan on ground. Okay. All right. Conversation on phone. Yes. So if you look at the quick notice against the Igbos, you understand that they are implementing what the man was saying. So right now, their target is to seize our properties. So now my advice to the Hebrews living in the northern part of Nigeria is to leave the north with their properties. They should leave the north with their documents. Those movable properties, like those of you that are selling papers, those of you that are doing businesses, those of you that have it and that have companies, go to your industry or your company, lose all the machines in the company, 
take them back home. Those of you that have other businesses, take your goods and leave the north. And they come back with your documents. For those of you that have buildings, that is a houses, and the other assets like land, you should come back with your documents. You should come back with your movable properties. So that when Biafra is restored, the government of Biafra can use international standard to claim your properties from the north. So don't think that you will lose your property when Biafra comes. No, you are not losing your properties. The government of Biafra will make sure that the government will take what belongs to you back to you as soon as we restore Biafra. Now, another advice. If you stay in the north because of your asset in the north, you stay in the north and allow the northern Nigerians to kill you after October 1st. Remember, you will lose those properties and you lose your life. So it's better that you better come, back come back home, home alive, with your life and, uh, and with wait your for Biafra properties. to be restored. Yes. Then Biafra will go yes. for your so that, so that is it. The northern Nigerians, they know too well that they are very wrong by telling the indigenous of the, the indigenous of Biafra to vacate the north. They are very wrong. Everybody knows that. So the people of Biafra should leave their land to avoid them being killed again. Right. Mm. I, I come to you, uh, Mazin Nendi. What right do the northern youth have to de make such a declaration? Even after making such declaration, the next thing we had was an audio. There, first of all, there was an audio, uh, uh, audio tape that was circulating in Hausa language, telling the Hausa, telling the Hausa to get set, get uh, according to the interpretation of that language, that they should, all they need is just a petrol and the, uh, uh, um, a lighter to light up the. Uh, the properties of the Igbos and Igbos themselves and, you know, burn whatever they see down. Then, after that, there was a re uh, one that happened recently, a song uh, that was released in our song. It was just moving, holding the north, uh, uh, singing against the Igbos and whatever. What right, what constitutional right do you think uh, this area would have to make such declaration or to make such thing openly and without being arrested, without being hanged, just that the IPOB are agitating, agitating and protesting peacefully, but they are being killed. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Nambikan, has been detained for some time as a result of doing something that is constitutional, which Nigeria is signatory to. What right do you think, or what do you think that is, you know, uh, uh, giving these people the impetus to do what they do? Let me put it this way, they don't have a single right to issue any threat to anybody to leave the north. But uh, there is need for us to uh, explain uh, uh, the reason behind their attitude. Their attitude uh, can be uh, seen in different angles. One, the so-called Arewa youth are not educated. They are not civilized and they are lazy. Because it is only people who have these three characteristics that can issue threat to people to leave. Because when you are lazy, you envy others who are hard working. When you are lazy and you are not educated, you showcase your timidity before the entire world. What the Arewa youth are doing are just a simple way of showcasing their timidity. If you look at the, 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 look at the, the, the British, the England, the Scottish people, they are demanding for uh, uh, freedom from the British government. Have you ever heard of anybody or any British citizen or other uh, members of uh, the British asking anybody to, any Scottish man to leave uh, England or leave, Brit or leave Britain? It is never done anywhere. But for the simple reason that these people 
one are sent, two are, 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 are lazy. They are looking at the, the ego's properties. The question this right one should ask themselves is, what happened to the properties that Igbos left for them between 1967 to 1970? Because Igbos started building properties in the north even before independence. Yet, when they saw and caused the problem, they took over the properties of Igbos. Today, where are those properties? They still not lose, 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 lose no property because they are lazy people. Even if you leave the entire world for Arewa people, they will not make use, proper use of it. They are still going to be lazy as usual. So, and, and that is why there is a problem in Nigeria today. I want to come in now, okay. But there are some evils in the north that insisted that they are not going to. They are not part of the Biafra agitation that they want to stay in the north. No, what do you no, want no, to no I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That is a propaganda from the media. If they say, if they try to tell us that they are evil, let them conduct a referendum. If they conduct a referendum today, and you find one evil man in the north insisting that he will not go back to the east, then. I will resign from being in the Biafra. There is no Igbo man that doesn't know that East is the best for him. But because of the propaganda, the politics that are involved, that is why all the propaganda, and this propaganda mainly are being spearheaded by the Yoruba media. And what of the assurance the federal government is giving that nothing? Nobody should. Happen. What assurance have the, have the federal government kept before? Is there any assurance that they kept before? If uh, Boko Haram can go and kidnap uh, 200 or something, get, if that is true, in, in, in a school, what assurance? If, uh, uh, if a single woman who was beheaded in the day in the broad daylight cannot be rescued, by the security, with assurance. Assurance of the same people that are going to kill you. So there is no assurance. So go the, back, uh, the Nigerian is government is go the Nigerian government is saying that just to confuse the, the international communities. So that they will the, the international government will look at them and what measures are they putting in place to checkmate the threat? What measures are being put in place? Do you see any practical measures put in place to checkmate? So, and how can you protect millions of people? The government doesn't have what it takes. Where is the security instrument that is required of even, 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 even ordinary fire service? is not there. By the time somebody's house is uh, set a blaze. How is such family going to be rescued when there is no fire service, ordinary fire service? Not to talk more of saving life. If you cannot save a house, an ordinary house, if you cannot save a property, talk more of saving a house. So there is no assurance, not even from Mohanese, not even from anybody. All right. Um, I will come back to you. Um, um, what do you think the Igbo Union and uh, other prominent Igbo people and Igbo groups and whatever could do presently now to make sure that every Biafran living in the north get back home, especially on transportation issue and all those things, to make sure that our people are safely coming back home? Okay, thank you very much. You know, what is important is for the people of Biafra, those of them living in the northern part of Nigeria, to accept and agree to leave the north before October 1st, 2017. If they demand that they should leave the north, the organizations in Biafra can now say, okay, we are going to provide transport for you, we are going to make sure there is um, 
um, a, a safe path to ensure safety for them to leave the north, to, to make sure there is security so that no one, will, no group of people will attack them while leaving the northern part of Nigeria. So you are saying that so they what have I'm, come uh, out what and I'm saying, first, Yes, and what I'm better. saying is that let the people of Biafra living in the north tell the Biafrans that we want to leave. We know what to do. Even IPOB and other organizations in Biafra land know what to do. But I will also advise all the groups and organizations in Biafra, both in diaspora and uh, back home, I will advise them to pressure our people in the north, to leave the north, make them to understand the risk of staying in the north and the gain of returning home safely. So my advice to those organizations is to ensure that Biafrans will be encouraged to understand, to see the benefit of leaving the north alive. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, based on the analysis of uh, both of you, uh, it's quite obvious that um, you, are put, uh, you are emphasizing on the constitution, on the law of Nigeria and all those things. But I can see, is it not good, let me put it in this way, is it, as, an, as a Biafran, as an IPOB, is it not good that they insisted on their threat so that the Igbos will return back home? Is it not good or is it not helping the, 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 the struggle for Biafra to be restored? Is it not an advantage towards the Biafra? Well, it, it is. The masses are already tired of the country called Nigeria. But the elite are the people holding that. And let me just uh, point out this issue. If anything happened to our people in whatever shape or form, the elite should be held responsible. Thank you very much. Um, is it not an advantage to the struggle for the restoration of the It's um, an advantage to the struggle. The reason is because if the people of Biafra leave the north with the, or relocate from the north with their um, properties, the northern Nigerians will starve. That is number one point. And the under six months, Biafra will be restored. Because the world will now understand that Nigeria, that the people of Biafra are no longer safe in Nigeria and they have no right anymore to live anywhere in Nigeria. They have been rejected by their fellow. By, by their fellow Nigerians. So the world will understand that and the pressure Nigeria to fix a date for their Friday referendum. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, viewers. You have say, uh, heard from our um, uh, men here in the studio of Biafra Television uh, telling you that it's to our own advantage if they will carry out their threat. And so, in this issue or in this case, we are pleading to our people in the north to, make, to do what? To return back home. Gather all your properties, those move up one, move it back home before 1st of October. Those ones that are uh, land, like land properties, house, you cannot move out, just come back home with the documents. If Biafra is restored tomorrow, definitely Biafra is the 16th state in ECOWAS. Biafra will go for it. Nigeria can never argue on that. Nigeria can never re refuse to return those properties to us. So life is more important than any other thing. So we advise you to come back home and also any help, any assistance you needed based on how um, our analysis here explained is good you also make a request, send some signal home that you people are in need to come back home or help which will be given to you and uh, may God bless you for watching our program. Thank you.
Free. 